We recognize that companies large and small in various sectors across this country are particularly hard hit by COVID-19. I think of uh, the airline industry, I think of the tourism sector, I think of the energy sector. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is promising help to Canada's battered airline industry. Air Canada posted a $1 billion loss for the first quarter of 2020, putting the blame on COVID-19 related travel restrictions. But the PM was cagey about when the help might arrive or what it might look like. It is something we have to get right, uh, but we will um, be uh, looking at measures to ensure that uh, some of our uh, most important sectors for the Canadian economy uh, continue to stay strong through this, this pandemic and mostly beyond it. Non-essential travel has been restricted since March. Much of Air Canada's fleet now sits parked at airfields across the country contributing to the loss. Those lease payments basically are payable to, your, to the lessor uh, whether you fly the airplane or not. So if you're basically paying $5,000 an hour in terms of lease costs, whether the airplane is flying or not, you still have to pay that. John Graddick has over 20 years of experience at Air Canada and now teaches aviation leadership. He says the industry has never faced a downturn like this. Graddick says carriers worldwide are facing the same rough ride. And even with a cash bailout and an end to the pandemic, Graddick says many carriers are preparing for lean times. There's a number of initiatives at the airlines around the world are doing to kind of rationalize your fleet because they know demand will not be there to in fact fill those airplanes that they've currently parked. So you know it, it will be a progressive turn up. It will not be back to the level of capacity that we knew. And there's one more twist, of course. Air Canada was set to buy Air Transat in a $520 million deal that was to be reviewed by the Minister of Transport this week. But with Air Canada's latest losses, it's not clear if that's a transaction that Air Canada is still interested in. In Ottawa, Shao Lee, City News.